icy out there. It yeah, is. I'm parking lots. Spell, yeah. yeah, you know, like slip sliding. So watch your step this morning. Secondary roads are going to be a little bit slick in spots too, as the temperatures dropped region wide. So it doesn't really matter where you go. Even Cape Cod, notice Chatham has dipped now to 31 degrees. Most of us have fallen into the 20s now. Even some teens on the map. It's 19 in Adams, 18 in Concord, New Hampshire. We have teens back up through Central New Hampshire, Plymouth, New Hampshire, Sanford, Maine, mid 20s here from Bedford down to Taunton at 29, 28 in Falmouth, and 31. Now we have dipped below freezing on Nantucket as well. So the rain and snow that came through yesterday, where it's untreated, surfaces will be slick. There's also a gusty wind, wind chill in the single digits and teens. Rain and snow is long gone. However, we have clearing that's coming in from the north and west, and that trend will continue over the course of the next several hours with sunshine breaking out. And once the sun comes up, 6.50 this morning, that will help to work on any of those uh, leftover spots that are a little bit slick in terms of black ice. Colder air coming in, too, from the north and west. So the temperatures in the teens back across Buffalo and Detroit and down through Pittsburgh, that's the cold air heading in our direction for tonight as well. So today's pretty quiet. We get the slick spots this morning, plenty of sunshine through the afternoon, temperatures generally in the low 30s. Tomorrow we start with sun. The clouds will increase, though, and we get some light snow by late tomorrow evening and night. It's actually a sign of warmer air coming in for the weekend. We're going to jump into the 40s for Saturday and Sunday, but it, with that transition comes a period of light snow. So if you have Friday night plans, look at the map at midnight. Areas of snow, even in the city of Boston, will lift north across northern New England. The cold front's going to be right over us, really, for the upcoming weekend. So that will mean mainly cloudy skies will linger. I can't rule out an isolated shower, but it looks like the next round of more significant moisture will come up on Sunday, and that will bring some wet weather in terms of rainfall for showers for the second half of our weekend. So Saturday's the drier of the two weekend days, but again, as that mild air comes in, there'll be a coating to an inch of snow Friday night. So most of the day tomorrow is dry, no problems. The clouds will increase one to three inches right along the Mass New Hampshire border, back through a lot of central and northern New England with some higher amounts in the mountains as you wake up on Saturday morning. Highs today? Right around or just over 30. A little cooler than average for this time of the year. Mostly clear single digits in the chilliest suburbs tonight. Teens, even all the way in the city of Boston. So any little bit of melting gets a refreeze tonight. Could be a few isolated patchy areas of black ice tomorrow morning as well. Highs tomorrow 30 to 35. Slopes forecast this weekend. Not that cold. We should be in the 30s with morning snow on Saturday. Sunshine breaking out Sunday. There'll be a light wintry mix in the mid 30s in the mountains as well. We stay in the 40s though here in southern New England. Partly cloudy to start next week with a couple more rain showers possible by Tuesday, mid-40s on Wednesday.